Polymyalgia rheumatica is the topic, abbreviated PMR. And PMR is essentially a very important chronic inflammatory condition that affects elderly patients. And the female to male ratio is about 2 to 1. Now, on clinical vignettes, you're almost always going to have a description of an elderly per person with pain in shoulders and hips. But there's a few key things I really wanted to stress that you should look for. The first is the age of the patient. They will tend to be greater than 50, 50 to 55, with a mean of about 70 years. The next thing that they'll mention is the ESR. ESR is a lab test. It's a non-specific indicator of inflammation, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, and will be very high, 40 to even 100. The next thing is, of course, pain, but bilateral pain in the hips and the shoulders. And the hips are sometimes also described as the pelvic girdle. And the duration of the pain is greater than one month. The next thing is stiffness, but in particular, stiffness in the morning. This will be part of the presentation symptomatology and for of a period at least 60 minutes or more. The other thing that sets PMR apart from other conditions is the patient will have a rapid positive response to a treatment with oral prednisone, usually low dose, less than or equal to 20 milligrams a day. So these are some of the key things that you should look for on a clinical vignette to identify PMR. There's other things that I would like to mention that are important and those are as follows. Weight loss, for example. The patient will also have difficulty rising from bed. That may be mentioned. The next is getting up out of a chair. And the next thing is generally the patient will have difficulty with ADLs. ADLs are activities of daily living. But the thing is, PMR needs to be distinguished from other medical conditions. So there's certain things that PMR does not have that you need to pay close attention to. The first thing is there's no muscle weakness. The next thing is that there's no muscle atrophy. And also, on physical exam, the patient will display normal muscle strength. So keep that in mind. Now we're going to talk about the diagnostic tests. PMR can be a difficult diagnosis. Um, you really are trying to exclude um, diseases before you come to a final conclusion of PMR. So you're going to probably have to do a lot of tests such as creatinine kinase, ANA, rheumatoid factor, EMG, uh, thyroid tests. The good news is and all of these will be normal. So that excludes a lot of things. So what is abnormal in PMR? Well, unfortunately or fortunately, there's a few. The first is a CBC will show about a little bit of anemia. ESR, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, will be elevated, greater than 40, uh, sometimes as high as 100. And the C-reactive protein, CRP, will also be elevated. And these two are nonspecific indicators of inflammation that uh, will be high with somebody with PMR. And then finally, treatment. The treatment of PMR involves giving prednisone and usually a low dose. You're looking at between 15 to 20 milligrams per day. And there's rapid improvement, and that's actually part of uh, the diagnostic criteria that if you do give prednisone and the patient responds pretty quickly then it's really good uh, indicator that they have PMR. So let's take a look at some clinical vignettes. 70 year old woman, retired professor, complains of bilateral aching of her shoulder and hip girdle muscles. She also complains of stiffness in the morning which lasts more than 60 minutes. Her discomfort is worse in the morning and occasionally severe enough to prevent her from getting out of bed and from doing simple activities. Any physical activity is an effort and she cannot find a comfortable position at rest. 
She has lost about five pounds over the past month. Physical exam is normal and shows no weakness or atrophy. Which of the following diagnosis is most likely? Well, this is a classic clinical vignette that has all the characteristics of PMR, polymyalgia rheumatica. Next question. 72-year-old retired salesman comes to the office with a three-month history of bilateral shoulder and hip weakness. He complains of aching and stiffness, especially in the morning. He notes difficulty rising from a chair and combing his hair. The onset of these symptoms has been gradual. The patient also describes increased fatigue, malaise, and a 5 to 10 pound weight loss over the past 5 weeks. Temperature is 98, blood pressure is 110, pulse is 65. Physical exam is unremarkable. Although the patient complains of weakness, his motor strength is intact and there is no muscle tenderness on palpation. Initial lab shows a normal cytic, normal chromic anemia. Additional lab studies will most likely show. Well, again, a very classic description of PMR. And all of these, B through E, will be normal. The one that will be elevated is the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. And finally, 76-year-old female presents with a history of bilateral shoulder pain for the past month. She reports stiffness in the morning for about one hour and also reports difficulty getting up when in a seated chair. Acetaminophen is ineffective for her pain. Her erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, is 65, which of the following is the best initial treatment for this condition. Again, another patient with PMR. The best initial treatment is oral prednisone, a low dose. So between 15 to 20 milligrams a day, and that is choice D. And she will have a rapid response to treatment with this medication.